Hi everyone, Colin Pierce here along with my friend Carl Knopf. And uh, today we're doing something a little bit different. We're going to be starting another Let's Play. Yes, I know. We're, I am hoping to get back to uh, Breath of the Wild soon, but at right now my Joy-Cons are off being repaired. So in the meantime, I saw that something interesting had just been released. There's a new Ocarina of Time ROM hack that actually looks pretty good. Now, there have been like a few uh, ROM hacks in the past of Ocarina of Time, but none of them really grabbed me. The first one was, I think, released in 2008, and it was called Zelda's Birthday. And it was the first one to tell like a, a new story and everything, but... And the thing I noticed about a lot of these ROM hacks is that the, a lot of them just kind of remix the areas of the original Ocarina of Time. And even if they do attempt to tell a new story, they off, it's often not it, it's often hard to ignore the fact that you're traveling through the same areas just with exits tell, taking you to random places. But this one looks cool. It's called uh, I think Dawn and Dusk. And it is, uh, from what I can tell, the first one that actually has completely brand new areas, a new story, and I am really excited to give this a try. So let me just uh, get this going here. I'm going to turn on my, oh, better, oh my god, I'm going to need a controller here. <laughs> oh my goodness, I suck at planning ahead. <laughs> but in any case, uh, let me just uh, turn on my... Uh, my uh, N64 here. I got my EverDrive all set up, and so in a minute we should be uh, ready to go. Eventually. As soon as my TV feels like friggin' behaving. Oh my god, come on, there we go. Okay, now I'm just gonna... Let me just start recording there. And, uh... Here we go, let me uh, just pull up. So this is Legend of Zelda Dawn and Dusk. And let's give this a, a look, shall we? Make sure it stays recording. Last time we tried doing this, it stopped recording when I activated the game. It was terrible. I'm gonna switch this so I can tell if I'm in shot or not. So I have like taken a quick look at like uh, some of the uh, uh, I, 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 the first couple minutes of it just to see if it looked good. But uh, uh, it's a great title screen, <laughs> so so original. <laughs> but seriously, uh, this was actually uh, Carl. Are you familiar with the 64 disk drive? Not really. So in Japan only, there was an add-on for the uh, for uh, for the Nintendo 64, which uh, was basically a high-density disk drive. You had these special proprietary floppy disks that you could uh, that you could uh, use to store and more data and save and all kinds of stuff. It never got released out of Japan. It had a lot of issues. It came out late and. Ocarina of Time was actually originally going to be released for the disk system, but due to all the delays and problems with the development of the add-on, got ported to cartridge. And uh, but the cool thing about this version, about this ROM hack, is we're not playing the, that version, but there actually is a, a a version of this hack that runs off the DD, which is really cool because you know how else are you going to use that thing? Yeah, so this ROM hack is made by one second. Again, total, total, uh, total uh, professionalism here. <laughs> Google. <laughs> okay. Oh my God. Okay. Zelda. Dawn. Dusk. Let's see here. So. This ROM hack is developed by Captain CDI, and uh, not CDI, but CDI, I think we need to uh, specify. This is not related to the CDI Zelda games. Oh gee, it sure is boring. Alright, but anyway, let's get started. So we've got to make a file, we'll start, we'll start with that. Okay, good. It is working. 
And of course, we're gonna stick to uh, simplicity's sake. We're gonna name our character Link. Because, yeah, I'm not very original. And let's begin a new game, see what happens. <laughs> Some of the uh, some of the uh, mods like Voyager of Time just change the text, but not the cutscenes themselves. And so, uh, Nimpy's Adventure, which was came out fairly recently, at least had new cutscenes. But oh, hear the tale of dawn and dusk. Not long ago, there stood a magnificent kingdom rivaled by no other. Conflict was unknown to its inhabitants over the course of time, however. Conflicts over power rose within the kingdom itself. To gain power, those in the west attempted to tame a legendary creature of immense strength. Those in the east voiced concern. Surely this creature was unsafe to handle precariously. Suddenly a beast of dusk escaped from the west and attacked the east without mercy, burning it to ash. Those in the west followed the beast into a war, persuaded by its dark influence. Such a conflict seemed like it would never end. Then against all law, a priestess of dawn rose against the beast of dusk and forced it into a decent over forcing the lead west to retreat. In disarray and ruin, the kingdom fell apart into two. Thus came about the dawn side of the east and its antithesis, the dusk side of the west. Knowing the beast of the dusk side could awaken any moment, the descendants of the priestess began to train for the inevitable. It is now time for one courageous boy to put that training to use. God. I love that they created a whole new story. It's, the only problem is, I wish it hadn't uh, been all uh, so go by so fast without. Hold on, I think the camera is. I think the camera's off a little bit. I'm gonna recenter. Something is wrong with the way this is uh, balanced. I'm gonna try to see if I can fix this. Okay. Yeah, it's not. It doesn't look level. Oh wait, it's up here. Here's the problem. Oh my god. Sorry, Link. I'll be with you in a second. Oh my god. Uh, how do I? Uh... Oh, there we go. That's better. God, that was horrible. The camera was like all like sideways. It was like. Oh, it's gonna look terrible. Okay, well, now that that's fixed, got all our technical issues sorted out, let's begin. Alright, so, got this cool map on the wall. It looks like we can look at it. We've got a ginormous bed. Go on. There's something on, there's something on the, there we go, check. From dawn to dusk. Everything to know about a trek to the dusk side itself. Traveling from the dawn side to the dusk side has many dangers. It is ill advised to make the journey without a proper sword and shield. Also, keep in mind that the environment of the dusk side differs greatly from that of the dawn side. Prepare for heat and cold. Finally, be sure to bring a handful of effective potions and elixirs. You may not think you need them until it's too late. Alright. Yeah, like I said, I, I've only seen a tiny bit of like the very beginning of this. I don't know anything else. Are you off on your quest? I suppose you've been training for quite a while now. Be safe. We can go into these other rooms here. Oh, it's mine there. Let's try this room. Hey, there's a chest here. Nobody's around. I guess no one would mind if I took what's inside. <laughs> 
You got a blue rupee. That's five rupees. Well, we gotta get started on our money song. Alright, let's see. Yeah, I think this door. Burn the bones as frost bites the, at the skin. Yikes. Yeah, jump over that chair, Link. Oh my god. Wow, this has gotten loose. My stick is... <laughs> my joystick is really loose on this thing. I don't know what happened. Your heart and soul. 
<laughs> but we're not going to explain why. It's, it could be interpreted in many ways. It could be, oh, I remember him, or whatever. Anyway, what's in here? You got the Villager Sword! On the Equipment subscreen, select it with the cursor and equip it with A. This isn't really your sword, but you can borrow it for a while. But be sure to practice with it before you really fight. Hey, that new map! Yeah! So we're currently in the land of dawn and dust. Yeah, new, new, pretty much everything. Like, yeah. I don't think I recognize that old lady NPC. Yeah, I, I think uh, so. I think I don't know. They may have done made some new NPCs for this. Yeah. Track. I'm pretty. It's pretty. That would be awesome. Yeah. So equip the sword. So we got our. We already got a wooden shield, dawn side tunic, and villagers boots. Yeah, so far I'm really impressed because the other hacks kind of left me kind of. Eh. I remember I was playing a uh, Nimpai's adventure and uh, it was so confusing and difficult. You go into like Dodongo's cavern and there's like enemies from like towards the end of the game in there and you. That kind of, it's the Gerudo warriors from like the camp where you try to save the prisoners. Uh, I don't know how know how well you remember Ocarina of Time. Uh, oh wait, I remember now the Gerudos, like the yeah. lady, the lady people. Yeah, and so anyway, uh, the, 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 it's those enemies in like the very beginning of the game. If you, when you have no hearts, they can one shot you with that special move that sends you out of the dungeon. It's terrible. What's a wimpy kid like you doing up here, huh? You're not doing my plants any favors by standing in the way of their sunlight. Unlike you, my plants are strong. They'll live whether or not you take away their light. From the looks of it, you probably can't even uproot one of these plants here. <laughs> Loser. Although, I heard that there's something in the nearby grove that would give even a weakling like you the strength to uproot these plants. Not that you'd last a second in there. Yikes, what a douchebag. Let's cut his place to get some... Get some oh. You got Deku Seeds. These are small hard seeds that you can use as bullets for your slingshot. Cool. Looks like you didn't need to uproot them at all. Yeah. Stealing your money. Your plant money. <laughs> Get to earlier. 
but okay. uh, oh well, I can't remember. When did we start? <laughs> when did we start? We got here. We got here a little after uh, six, seven. seven. I mean, yeah. Oh god. Uh, hmm. Actually, uh, I'm trying to think. Maybe we should call that an episode, and then we'll st immediately start the next one. Does that sound fair? Uh, oh yeah, sure. Cool. Alright, just in case. So, we're going to end the episode here, but we're going to get right on to episode two. So, uh, thanks for joining us, and uh, hope to see you soon.